Have you ever wondered how a tiny sperm and a tiny egg come together to create a brand new human being? How does one single cell eventually grow into a fully formed baby in just nine months? Today, on Sex Education Explained, we're going to take you on a fascinating journey from fertilization all the way to childbirth. Before we begin, think about this all of us started as just one single cell. Isn't that amazing? 1. The female reproductive system and ovulation. Let's start with the female reproductive system nature's perfectly designed machinery for creating life. The key players, ovaries, fallopian tubes, uterus, and cervix. Every month, one ovary releases a mature egg, a process called ovulation. This usually happens around day 14 of a 28-day cycle. But timing can vary, and that's why understanding ovulation is so important. Now, imagine the egg as a tiny, delicate spaceship, about the size of a pinhead. It travels from the ovary into the fallopian tube, its short-lived home for the next 12 to 24 hours. During this time, it waits for sperm, a narrow window, but full of potential. Fun fact, if no sperm arrives, the egg naturally dissolves, and the cycle resets. Nature is both precise and patient. 2. The male reproductive system and sperm journey. On the male side, Millions of sperm are produced in the testes. During ejaculation, they are released into the female reproductive tract, each one a tiny swimmer with a tail. But here's the twist. Out of millions of sperm, only one succeeds. Imagine a marathon with thousands of runners, and only the fastest, strongest, and most skilled reaches the finish line. That's exactly what happens inside the female reproductive system. Sperm face obstacles, acidity in the vagina, the cervical mucus, and the long journey to the egg. Only the best make it, and these lucky few have enzymes that allow them to penetrate the egg's protective layer. 3. Fertilization, the miracle moment. Finally, fertilization occurs. The sperm penetrates the egg inside the fallopian tube, not the uterus, as many people think. Their nuclei combine to form a zygote, a single cell with 46 chromosomes, half from the mother, half from the father. Here's an interesting thought. Every trait you have, eye color, hair type, and even parts of personality, started here in that single cell. Analogy time. Think of the zygote as a blueprint. From this blueprint, the entire human body, heart, brain, limbs, will develop over the next nine months. Fun fact. Even the baby's sex is determined at this very moment, depending on whether the sperm carries an X or Y chromosome. 4. Early development, from zygote to blastocyst. After fertilization, the zygote begins cleavage. It divides rapidly, from two cells to four, eight, sixteen, and beyond. By the time it reaches the uterus after about five to seven days, it has become a blastocyst, a tiny cluster of cells ready to implant. When it implants into the uterus lining, pregnancy officially begins. The uterus provides a nutrient-rich environment, a safe home where the embryo can grow. 5. Hormones, the body's silent helpers. Hormones play a key role in ensuring everything goes smoothly. HCG, human chorionic gonadotropin, prevents menstruation and supports pregnancy. Progesterone, keeps the uterine lining thick and supportive. Estrogen, promotes uterine growth. Relaxin, prepares the pelvis for childbirth. These hormones also explain why pregnant people experience fatigue, mood swings, and morning sickness. Every symptom has a purpose, helping nurture the developing life. Pause and reflect. Have you ever thought about how your body knows exactly what to do, without you even thinking? 6. Embryonic stage, weeks 1 to 8. The first 8 weeks are the embryonic stage, when all major organs begin forming. The neural tube forms, which becomes the brain and spinal cord. The heart starts beating by week 4. Limbs, eyes, ears, and facial features begin developing. Fun fact, at just 4 weeks, the embryo is smaller than a grape, 
yet it already has the foundation of a human being. By the end of week 8, the embryo transitions into the fetal stage. 7. Fetal stage, weeks 9 to 40. After week 8, the embryo becomes a fetus. The placenta develops fully, acting as a lifeline, delivering oxygen and nutrients, removing waste. Second trimester, weeks 13 to 26. The fetus grows rapidly. Movements become noticeable. Parents may feel the first kicks, a magical moment called quickening. Third trimester, weeks 27 to 40. Rapid weight gain and fat layer development. Organs mature. The fetus typically positions head down for birth. During these months, the mother's body continues to adapt, ligaments loosen, breasts enlarge, and hormones fluctuate. Every change supports the developing baby. 8. Common misconceptions about fertilization. Let's clear up some myths. Fertilization happens in the fallopian tube, not the uterus. Only one sperm fertilizes the egg, despite millions trying. Pregnancy only occurs during a short window around ovulation, not any time. Knowing these facts helps with sexual health, family planning, and understanding our bodies. 9. Labor and childbirth. After nine months, the baby is ready. Labor begins with contractions that gradually dilate the cervix. The baby moves through the birth canal and enters the world, completing the incredible journey that began with a single cell. Fun fact, the process from fertilization to birth is guided entirely by hormones, timing, and the mother's body, precise, natural, and amazing. 10. Fun facts and analogies to remember. Out of millions of sperm, only one fertilizes the egg, a success rate less than 0.0001%. Heartbeat starts 22 days after fertilization. By week 10, all major organs have formed, even though the fetus is just the size of a kumquat. Each pregnancy is unique, even identical twins develop slightly differently. Analogy, if fertilization were a marathon, the sperm are runners, the egg is the finish line, and the uterus is the track. The winner builds the ultimate life. Pause and reflect, isn't it incredible that every human life starts as a single cell running a tiny biological marathon? 11. Summary and Reflection From a single cell to a fully developed baby, the journey of fertilization and pregnancy is one of nature's greatest miracles. Understanding this process helps us appreciate our biology, human reproduction, sexual health, the incredible design of life itself. If you learned something new today, like, subscribe, and share this video to spread awareness. This is Sex Education Explained, making biology simple, fascinating, and interactive.